Welcome back to another Sunday Reset. I actually did not film this one on a Sunday, but since it is coming out Sunday, I thought I would call it that anyway. And it's pretty good motivation for a Sunday at home if you wanna get things done. Well, keeping it simple with a pot roast tonight, I'm gonna to season my roast and then I'm gonna sear it on both sides. And then after I sear it, I'm gonna put it into the crock pot, add veggies and more seasonings and let it cook all day long. filmed this on a Thursday and a Friday. Our couch was being delivered on Thursday and I was so excited to have a couch in our living room finally. And then on the same day, I had some things I needed to get done. When I looked at the footage, I realized it was super similar to what I would normally do on a Sunday. So I went ahead and call it my Sunday reset, even though I filmed this on a Thursday. So I hope you enjoy it. We're starting off in the kitchen. As always, I'm getting dishes out of the dishwasher so that I can reload it throughout the day and just get in the kitchen in order. So let's get started. It's so absurd for letter words, for letter words. I hate it when you're like this. You never get excited. Did you get struck by lightning? Don't hide it, no. Don't hide it, no. I'm gonna be using this Lysol all-purpose spray. I'm gonna spray it in the sink and let it sit for a few minutes since we were working with raw meat over here. So I like to spray it in the sink and then come back to it, rinse it out, and then start washing my dishes. The rest of my countertops, I'm using my new favorite scent by Mrs. Myers called Fall Leaves. I love this stuff. If I see it again, I'm definitely gonna get some more. This is something that I would use year round. If you see this, pick it up.
I tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no I'm not a yo-yo on a string That you flip and twist and swing I'm not gonna lie tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready I'm not gonna lie tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready Guessing your words Cause you choke right when I see That you're all I really need But if I'm honest, I know This whole thing has been a sign That I'm running out of time I'm not gonna lie tonight You don't get everything you like Cause I'm not ready If I'm not ready vacuum the living room one more time our sofa is being delivered today and I'm so excited and then I'm gonna vacuum a little bit around the table and then start on a little bit of laundry I didn't know the love was war then I saw you coming at me somebody that I used to know Some I am my enemy. I don't wanna fight no more. Or it got me on the floor. Breaking stuff that's so sentimental. Push and pull is all we do. Life is hollow without you. I try to do at least one load of laundry a day. The clothes you saw hanging to dry were from yesterday, so I put those in my basket to be folded and put away for later on. And then today I'm gonna be doing white towels, so I'm gonna throw those in the washing machine with some baking soda, a little bit of laundry sanitizer. My washing machine holds 50 ounces of detergent, so that's already preloaded in there, so I don't have to worry about that. is another man's baggage slow you down i ain't going nowhere space suit on can't breathe this air tnt going off in here ain't we up there cause you always want to touch me my phones will leave you bleeding that's why i'm always leaving Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Here's one last look at our pot roast that we put in the slow cooker earlier today I never showed you guys it plated but it was so good 
Moving on to the office, I'm coming in here to dust and tidy up a little bit. It is the first room you see when you walk through the front door, so I need to at least kind of keep it together. I do have a plan on what I want this room to look like. I definitely want a new desk and chair and a desk lamp and maybe a new rug. I'm not sure about that yet, but I definitely want to change up the vibe a little bit in here and make this a small little project in the future. Um, right now, we haven't put much thought into this room. As you can see, the printer is on the floor. We have like pictures back there just leaned against the wall. So we'll get it together soon. When I see you coming, all I want to do is tell you that I love you. I know you're better off without me because your tears stain. I make it dark out when you're around me. Like a needle lost in the sand, the ink dried in my hand. It's unthinkable. Like a bird that never learned to fly. I shouldn't ask you to try. It's unthinkable. Bye. second chances and i know that i'm not perfect and this probably sounds really selfish but i hate that i'm not with you i just wish that i could tell you that my this time is the truth i lost the trust i understand but do i have to be that man it's unthinkable but This area of the house is still very questionable. We still have things hanging around that we need to find a home for. The kids have their little desk and art stuff up here as well. You can't really see it, but I'm still trying to figure out what I really want to do with this area. I want it to look really nice and I also want it to be functional. So yeah, we'll figure that out later. So our sofa is finally dropped off and I love it even more in person. It got a little bit cloudy outside, so you're not gonna see the true color of this couch. It's definitely not gray, but it's also not white. It's more of like a light 
cream color. The fabric is perfection and I love, love, love everything about it. We decided to go with the sofa with Chase so that I can add some accent chairs in the future. We also have a coffee table in mind that we wanna get, but for right now, I'm gonna use our old one. This one will eventually move upstairs, but I'm just gonna wipe this one off because it's super dusty. It's been sitting in the corner since we moved in here. And as far as the decor that I'm gonna be using on the coffee table for now, it's just things that I already had around the house. So now it's the next day and I'm gonna continue on with the things that I needed to get done. So I'm going to clean the powder room downstairs. It's not terrible because I try to keep up with it daily, but there are some things I just need to sanitize and just clean. After this, I definitely need to steam the floors again. Since we are finished with big deliveries to the house for now, I'm gonna go ahead and steam the floors. I didn't wanna do it yesterday since we were having our couch delivered, but I did vacuum it yesterday, but I'm gonna go over it again with my vacuum and steam mop and get those floors nice and clean.
In case you're wondering, this is the Bissell Power Fresh Vacuum Steam Mop. So it vacuums and steams your floors at the same time and I love it. It's super easy to use. All you need is water and what I showed you guys, it's pretty much like scented water that I put in there but I don't really notice too much of a scent. We bought it when we first moved here a couple months ago and it's been one of my favorite things that we purchased cleaning wise. I'll find it and link this down below in case you want to check it out. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low, went from just talking to taking you. I'm gonna end today's video with steaming the rest of the kitchen and wiping out the microwave, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.